One question that I, without fail, will ask on every single date I go on, and it's a fantastic... The one question I ask without fail is, do you mind that I suck dudes' dicks on the side? Great then, looks like we're in business. Gay! What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Sterling Cooper. He's a former porn star, or maybe even still a current porn star, so he must know about girls, right? Okay, a guy's getting paid to have sex okay, with other girls that are getting paid to have sex. He must know game, or so the story goes. Okay, all he does is wear nice clothes. He's roommates with Jay Waller, FYI, who's a huge fucking loser who just recites marketing and copywriting messages and is completely incongruent, heard he's a huge pussy in real life, can't get chicks, etc. Also, Sterling Cooper humps Rolo Tomasi's cock and fresh and fit, okay, sucks their dick too. Need I say more? Okay, let's react here to Sterling Cooper never run out of things to say on a date, okay? Should be a great time for all. You guys gotta use your fucking brains here. Oh, he's in the adult industry. He must really crush with girls. No, he's being paid for that. So are the girls, okay? That doesn't mean jack shit about his game. And his little twerpy roommate, Jay Waller, who stands there and he's like, you must be a southern gentleman and open the doors for the girls, okay? Do not open a door around me. Girls don't like that, okay? It doesn't fucking matter if he's handsome or lifts weights or wears nice clothes, okay? And these guys not only promote and endorse fucking scammers, but they live it up with them, okay? They're always partying with them. These guys hang out with Modern Life Dating in Troy, France, all the fucking biggest losers in the manosphere, okay? So let's get into this. Never run out of things to say by Sterling Cooper. Have a girl on the way. Hopefully we can get through this in time. Probably not, but we'll do our best, okay? I wanna encourage you guys, if you're done with all the fucking bullshit and you'd like to cut straight to the source and utilize the best system in the industry that I spent 15 years evolving and optimizing, get on a free 30 minute call. Let us explain the eight week program to you is industry leading by far. Don't just take my word for it. Look at the proof page link in the description. We have hundreds of testimonials of guys getting the best results in the industry by far. Get on one of those free 30 minute calls, ask your questions, and we'll explain the program for you and show you how we will customize the game plan to get you very good and reach all your dating goals very quickly. Okay, usually in, in some short amount of weeks. All right, so here we go. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star. I'm an award-winning adult film star, so that means I must be good at game, right? So now I'm going to tell you how to be good with girls. Doesn't translate. Get the fuck out. Former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you improve your sex life. Former high-class male companion. It sounds like he's a, he was an escort or something. <laughs> a gigolo. It's funny, too, because I heard that this dude used to do shows. He admitted on, on air that he was, like, doing shows for men. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Takes a special kind of fucking dork to go jerk off or, or go play with yourself naked while there's some fucking, you know, gay guy jerking off to it or whatever. It's not what it looks like. There you have it, Sterling Cooper. Okay, now let's, let's learn about dating women from this man. Knowing how to keep a conversation flowing is a crucial skill when it comes to having success in your dating life. In all my days of getting paid for fucking girls on the pornography shoots, I learned to keep the conversation going, make small talk. In particular, on the first date. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys some conversation <laughs> topics that you- <laughs> Imagine this guy hanging out with Jay Waller all the time. Oh, mate, put on your blazer. <laughs> We're gonna go smoke a cigar. Wait, I'll be right there. You can use some questions you can throw out there that are gonna allow for seamless, never ending, almost effortless, conversation between you and a girl. The key to this is to find topics and questions that allow you to reveal a person's values, a person's dreams, a person- Okay, here comes the shitty advice. What a surprise. <laughs> Someone sent me this, I'm like, oh, never know anything to say, maybe he'll have some good tips. Wait a second, this guy has no fucking qualifications or credentials. He's a former male porn star and, and male companion, whatever the fuck that means. I'm sure he's done some, some weird shit behind the scenes. <laughs> <Wouldn't>, <laughs> gotta be careful how I phrase this. I could imagine him sucking guys' dicks for cash. Here comes the money! Here we go! Who knows if he's done it, but I can imagine that. Okay, maybe you can too now that I said it. What shaped those values, dreams, and desires? On the first date, you're gonna have to lead a lot of the conversation, but. <laughs> 
Wait, he's telling you to dig in the girl's values and desires to get her to open up. Terrible advice. Ideally, <laughs> you want her to be talking a lot because the more she talks, the more invested. Mystery talks all the time how you're gonna have to carry most of the interaction, okay? Especially in the beginning. If the conversation falls flat, she's going to blame you. So you need to multi-stack threads in the conversation. He's like, the girl should be speaking a lot. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. And the more you're gonna find out about her, the more she's gonna eventually find out about you, and the two of you can get to know each other. The two of you can get to know each other, just kind of like I get to know some men on the videos. It's the ultimate irony that- I, I have zero respect for this guy. Just wanna make that clear if it hasn't been apparent already. Okay, don't, anyone that goes on Fresh and Fit is a fucking sellout, okay? They're openly, they've openly and objectively been proven as the biggest scammers in the space, okay? So no one gets a fucking free pass. More plates, more dates is a sellout piece of shit. He went on there. I have some fucking integrity in the space, which is why I call these motherfuckers out by name and try to show you naive, impressionable young men that just because this guy can wear a blazer and smoke a cigar, okay, and suck the dick of 10 different scammers, okay, metaphorically, of course, that doesn't make him an expert with chicks and he clearly has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. The first date or when you're first interacting with a woman, you have to carry the conversation. You have to actually get her to talk. It takes effort and focus to actually get her to talk. You have to get her to talk. They want to shut up. They never want to stop talking. And what is every woman's favorite topic? Herself. So the key here is also to ask questions that allow her to talk about herself. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Look at his dumb face. <laughs> You need to demonstrate higher value. You need to systematically flip attraction switches that it's gonna, that's going to demonstrate survival and replication value. Leader of men, protector of loved ones, willingness to emote, pre-selection, thrilling or adventurous life. You need to demonstrate higher value. You need to sexualize the conversation. You need to frame the idea that she's gonna come home with you after. Okay, I've gone on probably over a thousand dates. This guy has no level of that experience whatsoever. Doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. So now he's saying, ask her some questions about herself. Get her to open up and talk. No, that's stupid. <laughs> stupid or something in a positive way and allow the two of you to start flowing back and forth in a very natural conversation you can tell he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about bro what are you talking about man look at, it, look at his face here <laughs> talking out of his ass okay he's like all right hopefully the male porn star and the uh association with rollo and fresh and fit and the blazer and jay waller roommate will suffice and everyone's like yeah good enough for us <laughs> he's like all right then nice almost like you've known <laughs> each other forever it doesn't feel forced in any way it feels comfortable and very natural now if you'd like to learn all of my tips and strategies for succeeding and getting laid on the first no oh, here we go first date then i highly suggest you check out my ebook right here so here are <laughs> some of my favorite questions to ask sounds like marnie wing girl don't think just answer you ready <laughs> <laughs> Ask what is your favorite food, and then when they say pretzels, say, oh, people only eat those in jail. Okay, that, that was Marnie's tips. Now we have Sterling's favorite questions to ask on date. That lead to practically never-ending conversation. The first one is one of my favorites, and it's, what were you like in high school? This is so fucking cheesy. This is no different than the internet marketers don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Ask her what she's like in high school. That'll her get that get her to open up and talk about her values and then everyone... No, and then guys will go do this, okay? And look like retards. You might want to elaborate a bit more with that question and, uh, and kind of lead her a little bit by saying something like, were you, the, were you the popular cheerleader type or were you like the nerdy, shy, hanging out in the chess club kind of girl, right? Most girls, you're painting like two sort of extremes. Most girls are gonna try and say something like, oh, I was, I was the normal one in the middle. That's what most of them are gonna say. But you allow her to elaborate on the kind of girl she was and then how she became who she is today. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, I have a date. Okay, time for the blazer, time for the cigar. Okay, well, here we are. Uh, what were you like in high school? Were you one of those cool girls or were you a nerdy chess club girl? And she's like, actually, I was somewhere in the middle. And he's like, all right, things are going great. What the fuck? What a dumbass. You're probing for <laughs> evidence of how she developed her. You shouldn't go to the date with a canned set of questions, despite all the fucking retards on YouTube telling you to do the otherwise, okay? Marnie Wing Girl, okay? Good at paid advertising, or her team is, I don't know who's, who's fucking controlling that, okay? Doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Sterling Cooper, okay, might look nice in a blazer. 
okay? Might have worked in porn. Who gives a fuck? Fuck off. Who gives a flying fuck? I know other people in the porn industry that fucking blow with girls, okay? Anyone can go get paid to have sex, okay? He's not a fucking game expert, okay? Now let's hear his other canned dumb questions. Her values, her dreams, and her desires today by finding out, okay, who was she and where did she start from? And obviously this can go, th these questions go back and forth between the two of you. So if you ask her that question, she's gonna want to know your response as well. So with all of these questions, by the way, it's actually useful for you to have an idea of what your answer is going to be, because you you know what the question is. You, you need to know the answer to, to, to the question, the dumb question you're saying, because because she's going to ask you back. So you better be prepared to say, yeah, I'm in somewhere in the middle too. Dumbass. 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 Going to be. So your answer can be a very attractive one, right? You can you can frame. Yeah, get your canned answers ready, okay? And when she asks you the same about to tell you about your own stupid questions, seriously, like like. You know, I was expecting a little more, okay? I, I was expecting close to zero, but, you know, this is in the wrong direction again. Here we go, okay? 130,000 subs, okay? Showcased on Rolo Tomasi's channel and Fresh and Fit. Must be a fucking hero. Hangs out with the Tates. Who gives a fuck about that either, okay? The Tates have shown no qualms with hanging out with fucking scammers that can make them more sales, Okay? Who gives a shit? That doesn't fucking legitimize this guy. It doesn't legitimize his fucking dork roommate, Jay Waller, either. In a way, in a subtle way that makes you look very attractive. You can layer in lots of different attractive traits and qualities in your storytelling. Another question I like, which, which reveals a lot about someone's values and desires, is if you could travel back... Oh my God, it's like fucking pure cheese. Cheese. To any point in history, and be an observer and watch. This is literally terrible advice. This is not what you should be doing on a date. No, God, please, no, no! You shouldn't come with your little like canned set of questions, okay, all memorized. Okay, uh, if you could travel back to any point in history, what, like, get the fuck out of here. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, get out! Okay, go back to doing porn, delete your channel, you have no business in this space, okay, all you're doing is fucking misleading men, joining in the fucking, you know, distorted truth uh, party over there with Rolo and Fresh and Fit and all the other objectively proven scammers. Okay, that's you, Sterling. Where and when would you travel to? This also tells you a lot about someone's knowledge of history, by the way. Seriously, this is, I don't think you guys can appreciate how bad this advice is. Ask them what their favorite point in time would be to travel back to, and then you can test their knowledge of history. If someone is a complete nerd on a particular period of history, well, bang, you, you've just found out a ton about what they really enjoy and what they're interested in. And you can go down that rabbit hole as far as you like. One question that I, without fail, will ask on every single date I go on, and it's a fantastic... The one question I ask without fail is, do you mind that I suck dudes' dicks on the side? Great then, looks like we're in business. Because it allows the two of you to get really close and f it allows- This chick's here, let me just fucking finish this last question. a woman to feel like she's known you a long time because it's a very, like not so much intimate question, but a very uh, revealing question. And it lets, your, it lets her guard down quite a lot. It makes you seem a lot more comfortable and relatable and creates this kind of dynamic of us versus the world. And that question is, well, depending upon what city you're in, I will say, what's it like dating Miami guys? Right, so if you're in Chicago, what's it like dating Chicago guys? Sounds like Alex Lindbergh from UMP. Oh, what's it like dating the Hungarians? Uh, you, you probably like me more, right? Yeah, go ask how they like dating the guys in your city. Great question. Good job, Sterling. These are terrific tips. At least here in Miami, all, the response is always the same. It's like, oh, it's terrible, man. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this gets much better, but I'm gonna have to cut it off there. Okay, this guy fucking is the worst. I've never even seen any of his videos before, but I expected it to be, you know, pretty much just like that. <laughs> I, I figured maybe slightly better by chance, okay? But who are we kidding? Hangs out with Rolo and Fresh and Fit and Modern Life Dating. Jay Waller, okay? The fucking Avenger crew. Losers. If you're ready to be done with all this bullshit with these fucking dumbasses in the space, get on a free 30 minute call. Let us help you, okay? Let us fucking transform your dating lives, pack your schedule full of dates, okay? Like, comment, share, take two seconds, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, email me more reactions and uh, infields breakdown at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go get laid. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake.
just take a look at the scores I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon